All right, so I wanna show you quickly how you can use the enthalpy readings on the UEI Hub Smart Kit in order to calculate total system capacity. It's actually really easy to do. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our two UEI WHP1s. This is the Hub 2 kit. If you look here, this entire thing all together is the Hub 6 when you have the refriger refrigeration smart probes and the two air probes. To turn them on, all you do is you just open them, which is pretty convenient. And as soon as you open them, you go to the app here, click on the air side, and then they're both connected. They connect really, really quickly. So let's go ahead and put these in the ducts. I warm them up with my hands so I can figure out which is which easily. All right, so this is the supply side. Put that in the duct. And then this is the return side. Put that in the return. And now you're gonna start to see that the delta T begins to change, begins to rise. It also gives you your target delta T based on the conditions in the return. Okay, so what you do is you hit this plus button. So you'll see on the screen right now that we have uh, two different enth enthalpies. Enthalpy is like total heat content. So the enthalpy of the return is 29.16 currently. The enthalpy of the supply is 22.27 currently. And so your differential is your enthalpy split. So we're gonna let it run a little bit here and then we're gonna see what our enthalpy split is and we'll use that to calculate our total system capacity. You also do need to know the CFM of the system. You need to know how many cubic feet of air is moving through the system. On this system, we've already tested it, it's right about 730 CFM. Some of you may ask, well, how do you get that information? You can use a hot wire anemometer, which we've shown how to do in some previous videos. You can use the fan tables for the equipment. And we also confirmed the airflow on this unit by using something called the true flow grid, which is made by the Energy Conservatory, which is a very accurate way of confirming system airflow. So we know that this system is at about 730 CFM. So now we have an enthalpy on the supply of 29, 0.13 and the return of 22.13. We currently have an enthalpy split of seven BTUs per pound. So that's the differential right in there. So we have a little bit of change, but it's, it's right at about seven BTUs per pound. Now we do the calculation total heat equals H1 minus H2. So that's your split, which we know is seven times 4.5 times CFM. So because the H1 is 29 and the H2 is 22, there's a seven degree split. Seven times 4.5 is 31.5 times the CFM, which is 730. So the total BTUs that this piece of equipment is putting out right now, or that it's absorbing from the air in this space is 22,995 BTUs per hour. So it's actually really easy to remember. All you have to remember is enthalpy split times 4.5 times CFM. I'm Brian with the HVAC School Podcast. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.